It is Wednesday morning, so that means Avenue N is the restaurant. Nick Raybar is here, curry chicken, sausage with apple and buttercup squash is what we're putting together. Yes, sir. This is a great dish for fall, It's right? a great Wednesday tradition, yes, too, is. Will. Yes. We get to see each other every hey, single week, baby. Look, I'm happy about it. I looked ahead <laughs> to see what the recipe was, too, and I was like, well, all right, there's lunch. It's a great recipe, and it is going to be lunch, and I know you guys are going to love this. Yep. And, you know, yesterday I was thinking to myself when I was coming up with the recipe, Apples. Yeah. You know, apples are such a autumn treat. Right. And you don't see a lot of savory apples. You mm -hmm. see a lot of sweet apples. And I'm a big savory guy. You know, I don't come in here and bake a cake. Right. I think I have. You may have. I may have I once may or have twice. Time. But yeah. most of the time you see a savory can make it home dish. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm all about. So I love apples. Obviously I've been picking. It's it's the season. So what goes well with apples? Squash, very in season. Well, I love look, I love squash too. Huge squash. Yeah, guy. I love huge, it. huge. And these little honey cups are the, like the sweetest little thing. Mm -hmm. It's a cross it's a, like a butternut, but a little bit smaller. Okay. So it's really, really fabulous. It's intense sweetness. So absolutely beautiful. I have some aromatic vegetables, some onions and celery, yep. and then chicken sausage. You know, chicken sausage is very affordable. Right. It's a great secret weapon for chefs all across the world. Like, I got this here. I picked it up at Whole Foods. I want to say it's like five ninety nine a pound. Okay. It's so reasonable and so loaded with flavor. Right. Um, you can get you know higher ones. You can get less expensive ones, and then curry goes perfect. <clears throat> well, with all of this here, so curry, apple, squash, vegetables, a little cream, butter, fresh herbs, chicken sausage, and then rice. I've even cooked rice already this what morning. What kind of rice should we cook? This is basmati rice, okay? Ooh, but you fancy. can use brown, you can use jasmine, whatever. And then you have options. You're going to see when this all comes together, you could put beans if you want. You can put chickpeas. Right. You can put some fresh lemon on top. Uh, jalapenos, green peppers, feta cheese on top. There's so many options. It's such a versatile is dish. Is this kind of like a one pan deal? Or we Absolutely. It is. Even better. We're going to one pan it except for this little rice. I've been hard at work here this I, morning, I Will. I'm almost breaking a sweat so far. Busy. No, it's very one pan. You know, I always like to do something that's approachable. Right. Approachable and seasonal and just right. give you a little variety for the recipe log. Looks you got good there. to me. You can add it to Let's the repertoire go. of things that you can make at home. We'll put this together to talk about not one but two restaurants Holy cow. in the Raybar Empire. <laughs> Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Nick Raybar is here from Avenue N. We've got some curry chicken sausage with apple and butternut squash. Yes. Putting, uh, putting that together. And I walked in this kitchen. I said, Nick, this smells just so good. Boom. Boom. Gotcha. It looks so good. It does look good. And curry is one of those things that... You know, I think I think it's easy to love curry. Right. You know, and it's one of those things that I always recommend, you know, adding slowly, tasting as you go. Yeah, because you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to overdo it. Right. Because too much curry can be a bit, it's a bit much. Will. It's a little much. And, you know, it's a bit much. <laughs> so it's, uh, but to balance it out, mm -hmm. we have a really nice fall this year. Okay. And curries, it might not be, everyone thinks pumpkin or they think maple. Curry is an excellent, excellent fall item and it blends perfectly here with this honey cup squash so going back to the beginning in the cast iron i sauteed the chicken sausage now right. i remove it from the casing all right that's a lot of people will roast it and slice it yeah i like to just remove it and let it do its own thing okay so i sauteed that and then i took it out of the pan and then i went in with our vegetables so celery carrot i mean celery onion squash and apple. Right, and they were the smaller squash, right? All small, yeah, those little right, honey cups, so intense too. sweetness, yep. really, really beautiful. And then once you saute all that, put in a little cream, a little bit of broth, add your curry, whisk it in, and then season how you like. If you like to put great. a little bay leaf in there, you can. If you like to put a little cayenne pepper for a little kick, you can. Right. Um, and then to finish it, I, you know, we have some options here. So I'm going to go with some chickpeas because I'm a chickpea. I'm a chickpea kind of guy. I, love, I like that too. I, I like a good chickpea, mm -hmm. and then I like a little fresh parsley also. I had oregano in there, some crushed red pepper, and now at this point, you're good to go. Ha have it, eat it. But I'm going to put it over a little rice today. So I steamed that basmati rice very early in the day, Will. I was slaving over this hot wow, stove today. Very busy. Very, very busy very today. Busy. So um, I got this rice, and I'm just going to put a little bit there. Okay. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is, you know, when you start adding rice, you want to have the right sauce to rice ratio. So because the rice is going to absorb, absorb that Absorb a lot of it. Yeah, you don't want it soupy. You don't want it soupy. You don't want it soupy. But look at how great that looks, Ooh, Will. That looks so good. I mean, curry is is so aromatic. You know, it, it, it hit you guys on the nose on the way in. Right. You guys were, you know, everyone behind the scenes here was, was talking about it. And, and rightfully so because, I mean, it's such a, look at that. It's such a complex, wow. 
It's such a complex flavor. Didn't take long to put that together either. A lot of ingredients, you know, the ingredients that aren't like crazy over the top stuff no. that you may not even have. Well, we never do that. Right. You know, the, the, the whole goal is to put something together that's realistic. You know, I don't want to just come in here and make things that, you know, are out of the realm of possibility. I right. just like simple. I like rustic. I like a dish you can look at and say, I can make that. I can make that and make that easy. Okay, yeah. now let's get down to business. Let's talk about the, the two places you have. All right, you know I don't like to do that. I know. But, but I do have some things to say today. This is good news. This is good news. Right. We have um, an abundance of patio heaters uh -huh. now. So anyone that is into the outside dining, which is so fun. Right. You know, this is a wacky time. Everyone knows it. Sure. There's no need to sugarcoat it. But... There can always be something fun within that, even though there's not a lot of reason to celebrate a lot of things. We're still here. We're sure. still, we still, it's still okay. Right. And outside dining is one of those things we can embrace for this season. Bring a blanket. Yep. If not, I got a couple kicking around. <laughs> I got plenty of heaters. Right. Plenty of heaters. We have a brand new menu starting on Thursday at both places. Really? Yep. So it'll be on the website. So great new options this weekend. So come, try something new, dine outdoors, and enjoy a little escape from all the kookiness that we're dealing and with And I every think day. for the most part, if you're planning on going out to dinner, you understand what the restaurants are going through. Totally. And really have, you know, you have to go out with an open mind. Yes. And eating outside, is, it's nice. You bring a blanket. It's you really nice. It. It's all, it's all going to be It blows good. my mind how into it. Everybody like has been. It really is. It's like camping with nice food. <laughs> it is. It's, it's exactly it's right. It's glamping. You know, just em, em, embrace the moment. Right. You know, we don't have to embrace everything yeah. that's going right. on. But embrace the moment. Punch out from the world. Let us, right. as an industry, right. not just Avenue N, but as an industry, give you a little escape for an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, we'll cook for you. We'll clean up afterwards. And, it's what we do. We and, love it. And also know that all of these folks who own all these restaurants and who are managing these restaurants are doing everything they can to make you feel everything. comfortable. So just go with the flow. Everything. Try everything. They the really are can. working they work harder hard. than ever. Right. Unexpected twist every day. And uh, I love them all. I give them a ton of credit. One in Rumford. Yes, sir. The other one? In Providence. In Providence. 959 Hope Street, now that you mention it. Boom, there you go. Go <laughs> check them out. Delicious food, new fall menu, and they got heaters. Keep nice and toasty warm. Thanks, Nick. Ooh. Thanks for being here. Thanks, uh, if well. you like this recipe, it's easy to do. Head on over to our website, roadshow.com.